Hey guys, this is Adrian, and today we're gonna have a look at the menu editor. So we have a few points we, we need to touch on. So why did we build it? So when you start with AVO and you generate some resources and you generate some dashboards and tools, you'll get this auto-generated menu for you. So you'll have all your dashboards in one place, you'll have all your resources sorted alphabetically, and then all your tools in the same manner. You can add custom things to your sidebar, but if you want to mix and match them, it's not the best experience. That's why we built the menu editor, and I'm going to show you today how it works. Initially, you'll be able to customize uh, only the main menu and the profile menu, but later on we'll uh, add support to build your custom menus and insert them somewhere else in the app. Cool. So let's go into the initializer and write config main menu and this will be a block. Once you add this configuration item to your initializer, you'll see that the menu starts to disappear. Cool. So now let's add a main section. So I added the dashboard section uh, and now I'm going to add one, um, one link. So link to Dashi. This is the name of the dashboard. And the path will be, um, I think, Avo. Actually, it's admin dashboards dashi. Let's see what we get. So we get the dashboard section with the dashi uh, item menu item. So now it's selected because we are on that dashboard. If I'm going, if I'm going to go back to a different resource to comments, this is not active. Um, for the link. Uh, you can uh, add one more uh, option. You can do the target and this can be blank. And now Dashi will show the link with the external um, with the external icon. And now when I click on it, it it's going to add, uh, open a different tab. Uh, this is uh, more useful when you're going to link to outside things. like um, add a link to Google and now it opens a different link. Cool, but let's get let's get back to the um, to the section. So uh, usually the section can also hold an icon. So I'll, I'll write icon and say dashboards and now the dashboards icon is going to be displayed. Um, these icons are from our own, um assets uh from our own assets uh, directory so i go assets svgs so you'll have access to a few of them that you'll find uh in inside your app but inside uh, avo but you'll also be able to find hero icons so you'll have the solid and the outline ones so if you go to hero hero icons you can search for whatever you need like maybe settings like adjustments and you can copy this and say icon is actually a hero icons outline and adjustments and now you can use that icon for your section sections can take um, uh, another parameter which is visible this can be a boolean so you can set it to false and now it'll be hidden or it can be a block itself and you uh, actually have access to and uh, params you get the current request params you get the current user if you have that one set up you can check it check out more in the documentation you get the context object um, that's something that you configure here in this con in this uh, initializer and then you get access to the view context um, the view context as well. This is helpful for when you want to use the route uh, URL route helpers. So you can do view context uh, context.main app dot resources path, let's say. 
on a regular uh, Rails uh, app, you just use Rails path, Rails uh, resource path, but or resources path actually. If you wanna if you wanna go to slash resources, but now because this is a little bit nested, you can use this notation like view contest main app resources path. Or if you you're using a different engine, you can use like view context avo and resources path. You gotta check out the um, um, the documentation on this one. But here in this visible block, you'll probably want to use like maybe the current user, like current user that is admin. And if he's a, he, if he's a, an admin, he can see that. If he's not, he will he will not be able to see that. I'll go to my user and show you what is admin is. So is admin is if the roles are present and if he has the admin roles. Cool. What else? Um, the sections. Uh, we we so we did this. Uh, we talked about section, about section icons. Uh, we talked about the visible block. Let's talk about collapsible. So you might want to collapse this section when you when you have a lot of sections. You might want to hide some of them. So I'm gonna write collapsible. It's true, and now. And now I have this drop down that I can collapse if I wanted to. Now to make this a little bit better for your users, this option will be um, stored in the local storage of their browser. So if they want, if they want this collapse at all times, they can just collapse at one time, and that's stored in the local in the local storage. Wherever I go, this will be collapsed. Now you can, if you have like multiple sections. I'll create one in just a second. So this is another section that's going to be empty. Uh, let's throw in an icon, resources, um, and make this collapsible as well. Cool, so this is collapsible as well. And let's just duplicate this link and add more. Now, if you have like one section that has a lot of things, but it's not really that important, let me just turn these off. And it's they're not really that important. You can set the defaults like collapsed to true. And now it will by default show it collapsed on first initial page load. Now it will still respect the local storage uh, state. So it will it will show. Oh, I guess there's a bug there. I need to show. I need to fix it. But it will first uh, show it as collapsed, and then if if the user um, if the user clicks it, it will respect that and and open it. Cool. What else? So collapsible. We talked about local storage. Um, so similar to sections, we have groups. So I'll go. I'll get in here and write like group and i'll say maybe blog let's say blog and do and do this like posts and maybe categories and so on and these could be like resources posts and now this is resources comments oh category sorry uh but let's let's do comments this is better Okay, and turn this off. So now inside the, another section, I have a group. So this is a uh, the blog group where I can keep my blog related things. And now and next, if I want to do something else like group uh, and say like users do, okay. And these could be like users and maybe roles or something else, whatever you have in your app. You'll see them shown in a different in a different grouping. Uh, similar to sections, groups uh, support collapsible. So you can collapse them as well. And they will that they will respect the local storage as well. And what else? And again, collapsed the default collapsed state. 
you can set that the same. Cool. So we have groups. We talked about links and target and why did we build it? Um, well, you will not always want to write like links and say links, posts and write the path and so on. So you, you can, what you can do is write something like this resource and do posts. And now Ava will go and search through all of your resources and figure out the posts one and it will create that menu item for you. So now this is a dynamically uh, assigned link to your resources. If you change maybe this admin to maybe dashboard or app or something else, this will be dynamically changed for you, the, the path for the resource. In a similar fashion, you could do dashboards, a, a, a dashboard like this, and you can do dashi with the ID of the dashboard. I'm going to show you how the dashboard looks. So you can use this ID or you can use the name. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. And you have the dashi dashboard. Let's add a new one. So next to dashi we have sales. So dashboard sales. And you have another dashboard added. Coolio, what else? So you have our resources and dashboards. So localization, so we can, we can, if you want to, if you needed to, you can use instead of, uh, of a, uh, of a string, you can use localization. So you can do this and do Avo dashboards. And now this will be a localized string. I'll do resources. So you, you can just see the string modifying. So now this is a localized tag. Um, we talked about localization, we talked about icons. Now let's talk a little bit about the profile menu. So similarly to how we configure the main menu, we'll go and say config uh, profile menu and do another block. And this profile menu is a little bit different from uh, this one. You cannot add sections, you can't add groups, at least not yet, but, uh, and you cannot add like dashboards or, um, or resources, but you can add links. So let's add a link. So link, let's say profile, and this could be a path to something. I don't, know. We, I don't have a profile page yet, but I'll just do uh, admin, dashboards dashi okay and now if i refresh i have this profile link added to my sign out link now this profile menu does support an icon for the light for the link so i can do icon and say dashboards again just for uh easy reference i think there's a profile one i'm not sure not found, uh, but this should have one. So I can say user. So your icons dot outline. We mostly use outline outline everywhere. So those would look would look very good. And now I have an icon for my profile. And you can use the custom tools to build a profile page. I can I can link to Let's see, what is it? Let me check the routes. I can link to an admin, okay. So admin dashboard. I'll, I'll, I'll link to this dashboard page, which is a custom page I made. So you can have this, your custom, you can add here like your custom profile picture for the user. You can make that editable with fields and um, images and so on. So this is, the menu editor in a gist, um, you can do a lot more with them. I have, uh, I have them configured uh, here. I'll just copy and paste them so you can see better what you can achieve with the new menu editor. So now, oh, whoops, something is wrong. Okay. Yeah. Forgot this. Cool. 
So now you can see my uh, my new menu. It has like the dashboards in, in one place. I have different resources like academia, like courses and course links. The blog has posts and comments. The company group has like projects, teams and reviews. People have users and people. I have another uh, resource, which is actually like fish resource. Uh, don't ask why this is here. This is actually for uncountable models, but that's a story for a different day. And now I have the tools as well. So I have the dashboard. Um, oh, there's one more thing I didn't talk about. Maybe, so, okay, okay. Oh yeah, I, have, I haven't, I didn't have that uh, item on my, on my list. So you might want to, um, to just create a different menu, like a, a, a tiny menu here, which is like a dashboard and a couple of resources. Let's say uh, this one, so I have like, two dashboards and um, two resources. And then you just want to mimic the rest of the menu, the rest of the default menu. I'll just get to the, to the other demo. And then you want a list of all of the resources. You can do like create a new section and add each, re each resource by hand, or you can use the all resources um, helper. And now the all resources helper will populate this menu with all of the resources in a, a alphabetical order. And um, you don't need to worry about the rest. You can do like this. And now you have uh, the, the tiny menu that, that you want it to be customized and then all of the resources and then all, all of the tools and so on. So this these helpers, like all resources, all dashboards, and I believe there, there's an all tools as well. These will generate everything for you, like the, the initial, um, see, so dashy sales and the custom tool dashboard. They'll generate everything for you. Cool, and I think, yeah, I think we touched on everything, uh, everything I wanted to talk about. So, I'm very happy we launched this feature and I cannot wait to see what you're going to build with it.